Welcome to Altium Designer PCB Layers. In this module, we will learn how to configure the layers on the PC board. Starting with a blank PCB, we can set up the layer definitions using the Layer Stack Manager. The Layer Stack Manager entry is found on the Design pull-down menu. Here we see the default two signal layer stack up for the PC board. Setting the units for the stack up is done using the measurement unit menu. While schematics are typically in imperial units, there is a growing trend towards metric for the PCB. There are a number of predefined layer stackups. To load one, click on the preset pull-down menu and select from one of the options. These options can be modified after being loaded. To add a layer, either signal or power plane, use the add layer pull-down menu. To do so, let's first select where you want to add the new layer, click on the add layer, and select the desired type to add. If needed, a new layer's location in the stack can be changed by selecting it and clicking on the move up or down buttons. Assuming we want a PCB with four signal layers and no power planes, we would want to remove the two power plane layers. It's as simple as selecting each layer and then hitting the delete button. Now we have a four signal layer PC board. Viewing the layer stack up with a 3D perspective is easy. Just click on the 3D checkbox. An image of the layer stackup can be copied and pasted using the Copy Image to Clipboard icon. Let's paste the image into a Word doc now, like so. Assuming we have a final layer stackup that we want to reuse, we can save it using the Save button. Let's call it My Company PCB Stack. Later on, we can use it to define a new PC board with this particular layer stackup by using the Load button. One issue that bears some consideration is the trade-off between power type planes and signal layers. With the Polygon Pour feature in Altium, any signal layer can effectively become a power plane. The advantage of using polygons is that if needed, signal routing can be added to that layer. In the case of a defined power plane, this is not an option. Power planes do allow for the tool to calculate trace impedance using the impedance calculator as shown one recommended approach for your PC board without power planes would be to use an external impedance calculator to drive the trace widths and the layer stack up dimensions. The approach of using polygons can in some cases avoid needing to add extra layers to the PC board. Some companies may have strict requirements for the layer stack up, so if that is the case, I would recommend creating and using the company standard stack up, saving it, and then loading it in when needing to start a new PC board. Let's load up the four signal layer PCB we saved earlier using the load button. Within the layer stack manager window, a number of fields can be edited, including the layer thickness and layer materials. Clicking on the thickness entry allows for edits. Likewise, clicking on the materials entry provides the typical options menu. Altium Designer has direct support for flex rigid PCB design. To create the multiple stack layers needed, Click on the Advanced button at the bottom of the Layer Stack Manager window. Here we see an example Flex Rigid PC board with the Connected Cube project, included with all tool installations. Opening up the Layer Stack Manager, we can see that there are two layer stack definitions. Notice the layer named Rigid defines all the layers for the PC board, and Flex uses a subset of those layers. This is an important concept for Flex Rigid PCB designs. The layers must be contiguous through all sections. The layer stack name Flex also has the Flex checkbox set, indicating that this is a non-rigid section of the PC board. It is also possible to have multiple Flex and rigid PCB stackups for a single PC board design. One useful feature in 3D mode is the ability to interactively fold the PC board. This is done using the PCB panel and selecting the layer stack regions mode. The bend align placement, angle, and radius are configurable in the board planning mode. We will explore the board planning mode in another module. Altium provides for exporting the PCB as a step model. This is especially useful when the components have 3D models built into them. To export a PCB as a step model, click on File, then Export. Note that there are a number of options here which we will explore later. For now, let's select the 3D step model option. 
This opens up a new window, prompting us for a location and name for the step file. Particularly useful is the ability to export the Flex Rigid PC board with the fold state specified. This allows for mechanical CAD checking with the case or housing interfaces. Clicking OK generates the model. 